Yeah, sodium, uh, one of the most abundant uh, elements that we've got in the ocean, for example. Uh, so this technology, we've uh, decided to uh, really pr to pursue this uh, to look into making uh, low-cost uh, energy storage uh, for renewable energy uh, technologies mostly. So, um, yeah, we're, we've, we've had some very good uh, success in the lab and we're currently working on a project uh, funded by ARENA, the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, to take that research from the lab and develop it into commercial products. OK, so at the moment, uh, a lot of uh, world, uh, the technology has been concentrating on lithium iron. Perhaps those batteries may be found in a mobile phone, for instance. You're not proposing to actually replace those batteries with this sodium ion technology. What, what would your technology be more useful for? Well, you're absolutely right. So just about everything these days runs on lithium ion batteries from mobile phones, iPads, laptops, right up to the Tesla batteries that are being used, being installed in uh, South Australia, but also being used in their electric vehicles. So lithium ion is really the go-to technology at the moment. And what we're proposing is saying, well, you know, lithium ion is fantastic for applications where you're looking for light, uh, very energy dense uh, batteries, but these sodium batteries, slightly larger, slightly heavier, will be able to work in applications like in renewable energy storage for your home, so you can put these sodium ion batteries in your home, or in those uh, static applications where you don't worry so much about the, the weight of the batteries or the size of the batteries. And of course the problem with lithium is it's, it's a finite resource and it's relatively expensive too. Absolutely right, and it's uh, it's not only lithium that uh, is the concern. So lithium-ion batteries use uh, nickel and cobalt as well. So those elements are the real ones that are the are the big problem. So for example, about 45 or 49 percent of cobalt comes out of one country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. So a lot of that uh, those material sort of supply chain issues that come along with uh, lithium-ion batteries can be sidestepped by this sodium-ion battery technology. So Jonathan, I gather your aim is to manage manufacture these sodium ion battery cells on a commercial scale. How do you plan to do that? Absolutely right. So this project um, that, we're, that the University of Wollongong is heading up is actually a consortium project. We've got a number of uh, national and international uh, partners on the project and we have some manufacturing companies in China that, are, that have brought their manufacturing of lithium ion battery expertise uh, into this project so that we can really uh, springboard off that and develop these sodium ion batteries. One of the real uh, benefits of sodium ion battery technology over some of the other alternate um, energy technologies that are being um, thrown around is that sodium ion batteries, they operate very, very sim in a similar way to lithium ion batteries. So that means that we can manufacture them using the same techniques, even using the same machinery uh, to manufacture these batteries rather than having to not only design a new energy storage system, but then also design the way to manufacture that energy storage system, which makes you know, a, a, a massive number of more issues uh, with the whole bringing to market um, proposition. And so you'll be testing these batteries at a sustainable home, not far from where you are. Absolutely right. So uh, one of our first demonstrator sites is the, uh, the Illawarra Flame House, and that's actually uh, a project that was run here in 2013. It was a student-designed, student-built and student-run uh, net-zero energy house, and it actually won the, the International Solar Decathlon competition in 2013. So uh, our students uh, managed to do that, to win that competition, and then we brought the house back here to Wollongong, and it's now a test bed for our research into sustainable buildings, into sustainable energy technologies. Uh, and so that's where we're going to be demonstrating our first sodium ion battery. We've also got Sydney Water as one of our uh, key industry partners in this project and we're going to be demonstrating a larger battery pack at their Bondi sewage pumping station. So just off Bondi Beach, uh, they're installing at the moment actually uh, a renewable energy generation system and we're going to be installing a sodium ion battery to allow Sydney Water to develop their energy resiliency uh, capabilities there. So no matter, you know, rains, hail, shine, they'll be able to pump sewage out of that station using their own self-generated uh, energy and self-stored energy. Yeah, that sounds pretty ambitious. So I think you're intending that to be up and running by 2019. Clearly, if that is successful, then that's going to open the door for you for a global market. 
Absolutely right, and that's something that we're really looking uh, quite heavily at doing is to put in place the strategic manufacturing capability so that when we do demonstrate these, uh, these technologies successfully that we're in a good place to be able to start to commercialise this uh, innovative Australian research.